All right, welcome back to AJM Learn. Um, if you have followed along creating these banner slideshows, we are on the last step, which is CSS. So um, I have a couple different kind of kinks here. So the first one is that we've created this really nicely styled banner slideshow, but we can't read anything because there's no way to put an overlay on a uh, banner slideshow. So we will do that with CSS. I'll paste it in. The spacing will be a little bit crazy, but that's okay. Um, works immediately. It works for all the slides, which is amazing. Um, only thing you'll need to adjust is your background color. So if you wanted this to be something other than like a tint of black, um, but, and then you can change the opacity based on, you know, what kind of style you're looking for here. So that one's pretty simple, works super easily. Um, yeah. And applies to all of them and just makes it way more legible. Um, next is the issue that, let me show you. On mobile, I find this one's not too bad, um, but if I say I had a description under this, this would take up, let me actually like show you really quickly. So let's go ahead and add a description. Do I have it turned on? Oops, body. So let's say I have all this body copy. Of course, it looks not great on desktop right now but because I haven't styled it, but it looks way worse on mobile. So let's actually keep that overlay on so we can see. And then I'll do it a little darker. Okay. And then from there, yeah, I mean, this would be like the most massive scroll on mobile. That's just not great. So here's how to change the title and description size just on mobile. So I'll paste this in. Um, let's see if anything automatically changed. Nope. So let's play around here. So, oh, right. Section IDs. So you do need to find your section ID. I have a whole post on this, which I've linked. Um, I just use this Google extension. So let's find the section ID and put it in both places. So we're changing the desk description font and the title font size. So it, you'll see it automatically responds, of course. So then you can play around with a size that makes sense for mobile. Um, yeah. Oops play around with it, you know, something like that. The one thing that I have not been able to figure out, but I will totally update this post uh, when I have time to do it, is shrinking the section itself with the font. So for example, if I wanted to also come in here and say, and change the line height, that looks way better. It's still pretty tall. It's not really like the, the actual box here, uh, the the banner's not really adjusting the height with the font, but that looks way better for legibility. So play around with the line height, the font size, do something that looks good for mobile um, and works better. This is obviously way more legible already. And I will be sure, of course, to update this if I can figure out a way to get the uh, get the whole section to shrink with it. But all right, I hope that's helpful. Definitely a lot better than it was and hope you enjoy.